Hi, this is Big Dog Sporting over here, and today we have the part two of the 351 GT40 lower, lightning lower, with the Stage 3 Explorer 5.0 upper. Um, previously on this manifold that had some mild gasket matching on the lower ports um, with the 5.0 Explorer upper bolt together we flow test the number six runner and I believe that runner flowed at about 230 bolted together with the um, um, the upper this manifold is for a stroker motor it's going to be a nitrous motor so he sent in his nitrous plate. I don't like this plate um, with the nitrous tubes and the fuel tubes going through the plate. You can see where it's going to restrict the flow when it's naturally aspirated. But this is a nitrous motor, so he's going to be looking to spray a nice shot on nitrous. Uh, we did port this plate. So it definitely flows a lot more than stock, the stock plate did. So we're going to go ahead and bolt this together. This received our stage three, um, cut and welded upper with the 79, 80 millimeter throttle body tunnel. We kind of leave the welding evidence on the upper underneath, but if we flip it over we do a pretty nice job on the weld of the top so it looks fairly stock unsuspecting people think oh you're just running an explorer <laughs> until, until the car gets going <laughs> then they know something's up so we're going to go ahead we're going to flow this manifold um, without the nitrous plate to see what it flowed and compare it to the before which was 230 number six runner and then we're going to bolt on the nitrous plate and do another flow test on the same runner to see if the nitrous plate affected the, the overall flow um, this manifold's upper runners have been shortened for the extra cubes and enhance RPM capability. So we're gonna go ahead, strap this to the flow bench and get going and see what the results are. All right, so we all bolted up. You can see the tape right there. You guys saw previously, uh, we had these runners blocked up and the tubes, of course, for all the critics and skeptics all the people who just don't want this manifold to flow like it's gonna flow flow bench is zeroed oh it's another um, um thing we have to tell you that our flow bench is digital has a processor on it so whatever the depression is it can be 10 it can be 20 it can be 30 it's going to automatically calculate the cfm number to 28 inches allows us to flow parts very very fast because we have a ton of parts that we're porting and we flow every part that we port we do a before flow test and then after and that's when we part port headers when we port cylinder heads throttle bodies um, intake elbows and intake manifolds we do a before and after and most shops they don't even do an after flow test so we do that to gauge the gains that the part receives when we do our porting so we can see hey this manifold gained uh, 40 CFM, this manifold gained 70 CFM. So you know of the effectiveness of the porting. Anyway, enough of that, that babble. Let's go ahead and flow this. Number six runner. 
So we're at 298, 298.299 on the number six, which is one of the sharp turn runners. Um, usually the sharp turn runners, the inside runners, um, usually the inside runner there, they usually flow slightly less than the outside runners. And that's because of the way this manifold is designed. It has a staggered offset runner where the outside runners, the curve to the outside is more gradual versus the inside runners that has a sharper turn. Um, so enough of that. Let's go ahead and take the upper off and we're gonna bolt on this nitrous plate that was ported. We ported the nitrous plate best as we could without jeopardizing the gasket sealing properties of this plate. So we're gonna bolt this to that and see what it does. All right, we're back. Yeah, 351. We're back with the stage three, 351 lightning lower and the stage three cut and welded Explorer upper. We have the nitrous plate that was ported with the bars going through it. We're gonna flow that, bolt it together to the flow bench to see what the flow is, if it's gonna be affected or if it's going to be okay. Um, the plate was ported to the best of our ability without compromising the gasket seal like we said before. So we're gonna go ahead and flow it and see what happened. So we're at 285. Two eighty five. Yeah, about 285 to 287. So it did lose some CFM. Um, previously, it was like 299, around 300 CFM for the number six. Um, now it's like 285 to 287. So, um, yeah, it did lose some CFM. Um, not a lot. Not a lot. But that's you know, what you trade off when you start putting spacers and and nitrous plates and too small of a gasket, you're gonna lose some CFM. But overall, this manifold still outflows, a trick flow R still outflows a Victor 5.0 or Victor 5.8. Um, it still outflows a out the box box R. So this short runner is around 300 CFM without the plate and around 287 with the plate. So overall, when we do the rest of these runners, they're gonna average out to about 300, 310 CFM average per runner, which is great for this setup. So like the video, you guys. Liking is free. Um, subscribe and share the video so others can see. And um, we'll see you guys at the track.